Hey guys, welcome back to the Storyville YouTube channel. I have another little product review to do for you. I got this from Evoltu. Evoltu? Here. That's the name of the brand. They sent this to me for free in exchange for doing a review. So, here it is for you guys. It's a little spray attachment for your garden hose. And by the way, when you get it... That didn't work out. <laughs> you get a free wash mitt. Free wash mitt. Done. Video over. That's it. I sold them. <laughs> so you get a free wash mitt with it. But it actually is kind of cool. I'm excited to try it out. We're going to wash the truck here in a second and see how it turns out. But I really like that. It's got this little reservoir, which is obviously the main selling point on it. It's about three and a half ounces. Just threads on and off. Uh, they say you can wash your car with it. You can wash your pets with it. Put like fertilizer or whatever in there. You got this knob on the top. Get it just right. You can see it says water up here and soap here. And you got little dots that get bigger and bigger. So you can hear it click into place as you get to each level. So we'll test that and see if it actually controls the amount of soap going in there. The trigger's kind of neat. It's just, um, it's not variable like uh, a lot of attachments. It's just on, off, on, off. Which is nice because you don't have to hold it, but you're always full power or you're always off. It also comes with this little attachment here. You can just unscrew it. And you got your typical hose attachment there. We have eight different spray settings on the head. So we have shower, jet, center, flat, stream, over here, rinse, cone, mist. I think we started with shower. So I think it's pretty neat. I want to try it. I want to go wash the truck. We'll see how it works out. Alright, well it definitely works. We gotta rinse off the truck, but first I want to put soap in the reservoir. That little bit of water was me screwing around with it a minute ago. But, uh, let's put some soap in the reservoir. I want to see when just the water cycles on and see if any soap passes through or not. So, let's do that. Alright, we got some car wash. I was checking it out. It's not leaking out of the reservoir at all. Got it just on water. Dial's turned all the way to the water side. You can see that. See the little arrow, water. So let's rinse it off. So far, so good. You didn't get any soap mixed in with the water, just doing the rinse cycle. I'm going to turn this thing full blast soap and just see how fast we go through three and a half ounces of soap. And see how soapy it is. It's turned all the way up. Alright, at the highest setting, you can see we're already perfectly clear, nothing but water in there, so boy it went fast. Uh, 45 seconds, a minute, at full blast. Of course your water pressure is going to have something to do with that, and uh, but it is that turned up all the way. So now let's do the contrast and turn it one notch off of uh, water, so just the lowest setting of soap. Let's see how it does with that. Interesting side note. It's hot out here and my phone overheated so I threw it in the fridge for about five minutes and now we're on this side. So now I have the soap dispenser turned all the way to the lowest soap setting. You can see that and we're going to see how it works. You can see that it's all clear, no soap left. So I wouldn't say the lowest setting and the highest setting really have any difference. 
if I would guess, this is really just an on-off switch and not actually progressive. But let's finish washing this thing. Well, there you have it. Did a pretty good job, really. Went through the soap faster than I'd like. However, I figure if I put one three and a half ounce container and use it one on each side, that worked out pretty well. Just use it till I ran out, then switch to the next side. I usually wash my car in sections anyway, so worked out for me. But no car wash is complete without drying it so you don't get those nasty water spots. And for that, we're going to use the best chamois ever called the Absorber and a Jelly Blade. So let's dry it off. Now the Jelly Blade gets off 75% of the water, but it doesn't get it completely dry. So we're going to use this little Absorber chamois. Has a name on it somewhere. Absorber chamois to finish the job.